Hey YouTube, Gordon Miller here. So today I wanted to talk about uh, an interesting development. Okay, let's see it spin around this way. I want to talk about an interesting development. So uh, it was just announced yesterday that Congressman Dave Brad is going to become uh, the Dean of the School of Business at Liberty University. And uh, I spent uh, five years uh, in academia teaching at Virginia Tech. I was an administrative faculty. I taught an 8 a.m. class every day uh, at the master's and PhD level. And um, I, you know, worked with a lot of very quality people, uh, including deans of all the colleges throughout the university. And, um, you know, nothing specifically against Dave. Uh, I'm not going to make this about Dave. I'm going to make it about the experience that you get going to college and the reality of who is in charge of your education. You know, in Dave's case, Dave has spent majority of his adult life and career in academia. Uh, he has held multiple jobs, including chair of the ethics department and uh, economics and things like that. But economics does not equal business. You know, the idea of that somebody who has never owned their own company, never had to make payroll, never owned their own business, never ran another business, never, uh, you know, participated in the process. All of a sudden, because he's been a two-term congressman, now all of a sudden he has the credentials to become dean of the School of Business. Now, what does that mean about the kind of education that you're likely to get from Liberty University? I think that as tuition goes up and the quality of education goes down, uh, you know, that you have to start wondering, what in the hell is everybody paying for? You know, I don't understand this. I mean, you know, maybe Dave's not going to teach as much or maybe he'll only teach economics and, you know, things like that. And that's great. Economics is an important part of business, especially international business and other things like that. But, um, you know, I, I just don't understand how people that devote majority of their entire lives and careers in academia uh, end up with key positions that drive the focus of uh, our kids' educations. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. So... I'm not sure I understand what the logic is. You know, maybe the folks at Liberty University can uh, provide some insight. You know, I like Dave as a person, and uh, Dave and I were friends for a long time. Uh, but, you know, I just don't think that there's a whole lot to justify why the university would um, invest in uh, having somebody be dean of the School of Business that's never owned a business. That's one of the reasons that I left academia 25 years ago to start my own companies. And, um, you know, I've had an opportunity to participate in helping to build and run and grow uh, over a dozen companies over the last 25 years. I just think that that's the type of experience that schools should be looking at. You know, pick anybody at random that's run their own company for 25 years. I'd rather have them be dean of the School of Business anywhere than I would have somebody who's uh, spent the majority of their life in academic theory and no actual practical business practice. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So... I normally provide decent life advice, relationship advice, and other things like that, but today I thought I would at least bring a reality check to the process of education. I just don't think that people really are um, intellectually honest about the reality of what they're charging for tuition and what people are getting. And I think this, uh, this move for Congressman Bratt to take this position at Liberty University simply continues to amplify the insanity in education. Liberty is already known as a very conservative university, and that's fine, but, uh, you know, maybe his conservative ap appeal is what uh, was the nature of the uh, opportunity. I don't know. But anyway, you know, with uh, so much uh, on the line these days and uh, the global aspect of business being so important, uh, I just wish that they would get people with real business experience in key positions at major universities. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.